Hello everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to drive a servo with UFLOW. Servo module is belongs to the modules family of Amfastec product series. Its integration with Mac 328 microcontroller inside makes it much easier to manipulate multiple servos. All we need to do is that stack the servo module at the bottom of the MFAC core, then we can drive the servos with the three pin pot. I've got UFLOW open. The servo program block is located in the modules. We've got two blocks here. Rotate is to control the servo, rotate to a certain angle and stop. Right is to set the high state duration time for deeper control of the servo. We're going to use two types of servos. One is 180 degree. By giving it a PWM signal, we can tell him to rotate a certain angle. The other type is 360 degree. Not like 180 degree servo. Give it a PWM signal, we can have it rotate towards a certain direction backwards or forwards with a certain speed. Let me break it down a little bit. PWM is a continuous square wave. What we gave out from UF flow is the high state duration time of the PWM period. When Mac 328 received the high state duration time value, it will generate the PWM signal with certain duty cycle to drive the servo. Technically, the servo module is capable of drive 12 sites of servos, but it will need enough power supply. Here we use two lithium batteries, which are in series connection together with a voltage reducer. To power the servo module, output voltage is around 7.4 volts. Let's take a look at the servo module. On the side of the port, here we have the SVG sign. G is ground on red. So when we wear the servo, we need to put the ground side aligned to the right. In general, the most dark color is ground. I plug them at port 0 and port 2. In order to get it works, we need a variable. High duration is then for the high state duration time. Underneath setup, we set it to be 1500 microseconds. Whenever the 360 servo powered by the PWM signal with 1500 high state duration time, it will stay in stop mode. Whenever the value is between 1000 and 1500, it will start rotate forwards and between 1500 and 2000, it will rotate backwards. The closer to 1500, the slower it will be. When button A is pressed, set the servo in part 0 rotate 0 degree, add a label to display 0. When button B and C is pressed, set the angle to be 90 and 180. Next, we add a do button unit. When the red button is pressed, high state duration time minus 10 microseconds. And add a label to display this value. When the blue button is pressed, plus 10 microseconds. Rest of the code are the same. At last, display the info on the screen. Add three labels. Label 2 will display servo demo. Label 3 to display angle. Label 4, high duration. Set up their locations and foot size.